Hilma was originally born out of the product emergency. Um, my co-founder, Lily Galef, who's now our chief brand officer at Hilma, was not feeling great, asked me if I had one in my apartment, and I did. And that moment kind of sparked a realization that consumers today, myself and Lily included, are looking for clean labels in all aspects of our lives, whether it's household cleaners, personal care, cosmetics, and it felt like the category of medicine and, and medicine cabinet staples really was left behind. Um, and we took this idea to Hillary Kortner, my co-CEO, um, who has a deep expertise in the natural product space. And the three of us just became absolutely obsessed about this idea and this void in the market. And here we are today, we offer natural remedies that are backed by science. So we have a very rigorous product development process because our promise to consumers is really to only include ingredients in our formulas that have clinical research behind them. So we start off with our bench of scientific advisors who are MDs, PhDs, and an ethnobotanist and herbalist, and they help us construct all of our formulas from the ground up. Um, and we only include it ingredients in our formulas that have demonstrated efficacy for the use cases that we are using them for. And then the final step of our product development process is really running our own clinical research on all of our formulas, which is not required by law, but something that we are um, investing in in order to build that trust with consumers. So we decided to invest in three single group clinical studies in, within the first year of starting our business. We believe that consumers today um, really need direct research in order to build trust and loyalty with a brand. And since so much of our value proposition and consumer promise is around being scientifically backed, we really felt that we needed to put our money where our mouth is, even though it is not typical for a startup of our size, nor is it required by the FDA to do research like this. So we have definitely encountered a lot of challenges, I'm sure every startup has. I think two that stick out to me was um, one around trying to get credit cards. Um, and I guess the, the, the theme is just the simplest things sometimes are really, really hard. Um, we have now an inside joke at our company, our co -found, my co-founder and co-CEO, Hillary, um, was the one who was tasked with doing this and had to end up putting her full force behind it in order to finally get us approved for a credit card, which of course she did. Um, and then I think the second one that we've had to deal with as a team is physical product delays. Um, it's something that when you're a really hard worker and you've planned and you have your timeline, it just seems so unbelievably shocking that a physical product delay can happen, whether it's because there's a plant um, like a fire at one of your plants or whatever it might be, um, you just can't control it and that's really hard. So my advice would be to make sure that you have a team that you love and believe in and can trust. Um, for us, you have no idea what's gonna come your way. And in our experience, even a few days after launch, even the night before launch, things can go wrong and you need those people. For me, it's obviously my co-founders, um, but also our first and earliest team members um, who just can roll with the punches with you, laugh about it, um, obviously learn from your mistakes and, and move on.